Okay, last race of week nine on the flat is race 38. It's the Halty Stakes. So one mile, two furlong, to 70 handicap for two-year-olds. So quickening queen for Darren Howes, top weight, murder relief, Stu Gray is two, KO for Martin Needham is three, Chepstow Wolf for Ponty Boy is four, Spirit Dancer for everyone is five, Lady Vassar for, and Moor Hill for Alex Cherry is six and seven, and Horse Elf for James Follis just makes up the eight over this ten furlongs. The last race of the week. Style has got on my weight. The one I just missed the break there was Muir Hill. As they settle down, go straight into this left turn here, but it's a fairly small field, shouldn't inconvenient anybody in their spirit. Dancer and Lady Vasseur that are going to lead us from KO in third. Quickly, Queen is for the great. And then length also back to Horse Elf. Then we've got Muir Hill just pushing through ahead of Chepstow Walk and Murder Elite. So with a mile left to travel, it's Lady Vasseur and Spirit Dancer that are going to lead us. Cherry and Chill. Cherry and Chill Horses of Lady Valsur and Spirit Dancer lead by about four to Quickening Queen of Darren Howes. Then we've got KO of Martin Lead on the outside of that is Horse Elf James Follis looking for a double. Then Muir Hill. And then just Ports Offences Murder Elite. Chepstow Walk is just getting a little bit caught for tur at the moment. Inside the final six. And the leaders are Spirit Dancer and Lady Valsur. And Obi Wan keep one in the lead this time and not get pipped at the post as he did in the previous, which was very unlucky, and his spirit dancer tries to nose the front of Lady Valser, and they've still got a four-length advantage from Quickening Queen, and KO and Horsell are together, and Muir Hill and Murder Elite, and Chepstow Walk is a couple of lengths off the back of the pack, with just half a mile to travel. Quickening Queen has started to quicken and cuts into the leaders, and it's Lady Valser, spirit dancer, and then a length and a half back to Quickening Queen, a further three back to KO, Horsell moving up on the inside is Murder Elite now, and then we've Sorry, the other one is Muir Hill, moving well, even wider now is Chepstow Walk, but up front inside the two and a half is Quickening Queen that takes it up from Spirit Dancer, Lady Valsur, KO really running on well now, but it's Quickening Queen, the grey, it starts to quicken away from the rest of the field inside the furlong and a half now, and it's Quickening Queen from Spirit Dancer, KO's trying to reel him in, but it's Quickening Queen, Quickening Queen leads by about three here to KO in second, Spirit Dancer in third, Lady Valsur, no one else is into this, but it's Quickening Queen, but here comes KO, is he going to catch him inside the half? It's Quickening Queen from KO, Quickening Queen, KO, Quickening Queen, KO on the outside, KO's just going to get up. Obviously at Barden Barden, it's one of those courses you can just catch people in the way. Another win for Martin Leader. Wins with KO. Well, handicapped horse there for Martin Leader. It was a 2 to 1 favourite. Second was Quickening Queen, unlucky there. Murder Elite got up for third. Muir Hill for Alex Cherry was fourth. Chepster Walk for Pontypool was fifth. That's your lot for this week. We'll see you next week.